Hey guys, Shane Starms with DroidModerX.com. Many of you guys are beginning to receive your new Nexus 7, so this is the version 2, uh, second generation of the Nexus 7. And the first thing you guys want to do is unlock the bootloader and root the device. Now, I've already posted a couple videos on how to do that manually, but some of you guys just prefer the one-click toolkit method, and Wugfresh is awesome at providing that for Nexus devices. So he has his Nexus root toolkit. It has been updated to support the new Nexus 7 and we will go ahead and unlock our bootloader and root this device. This also installs Team Win Recovery Project, so that's just an added benefit. We'll go ahead and get started now. So from the toolkit, we will select the option to unlock. It says this will wipe your device, so make it back up first. And it says the script will unlock your device, enabling you to root it, and ultimately allow you to gain full access to Android. This process will factory reset your device, meaning that all your apps, data, and settings will be completely wiped. So please take necessary steps to preserve your information, uh, your important data. Use the backup feature to save your apps and data, and also the backup data media to save things like pictures and music. So you guys can see there is a backup feature here. You can use that first in order to backup your device so that you don't wipe anything uh, that you really don't want to wipe. So we'll go ahead and select OK to continue. In order to unlock your device, uh, you need to be in bootloader mode first. So we'll go ahead and do that. I was thinking that we needed to be in USB debugging mode, but it's in fact we need to be in the bootloader mode, which is easy enough. Just power down the device. Okay, once power down, we're going to hold volume down and power at the same time. Okay, that puts us in bootloader mode. From there, we're going to just plug the device back into the computer. Okay, and then also there was an option to do that uh, through the script itself. You would just select yes. Uh, we just booted into bootloader mode, so we can select no. And then it's just going to run through the script to unlock your bootloader. Okay, so the next thing you're going to see is this message on your screen. Uh, we'll so hit volume up to select yes. It says it may void your warranty. Uh, we can always relock the bootloader later, so that's not really an issue. And we'll go ahead and hit the power button to select. Okay, and you guys saw that it was unlocked. And you guys see that we now have the padlock there, so our device is unlocked. So we will continue with uh, rooting the device as soon as it boots back up. Just so you see here, it looks like it is boot looping, but it is not actually boot looping. It's just wiping data, and uh, that's what it does whenever it unlocks the bootloader. So just be mindful of that. You're not in a boot loop, but nothing's wrong with your device. Uh, that is normal. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set up the device once it's rebooted, and then we will uh, enable USB debugging. So we'll go back into settings. About tablet. Click on that build number about eight times. Go into developer options and check USB debugging. And select OK. Okay, now we can root the device. So now we can root the device. Uh, go ahead and click this custom recovery if you want to install Team Win Recovery Project, and we'll select root. Your current it says you currently have no modified boot image for your build in the local directory. Press OK if you are ready to download and continue. So press OK. So it only took about a minute or two to download the recovery. Okay, so it gives you this warning screen here just telling you uh, the dangers of flashing a custom recovery. Uh, you need to unlock in order for this to work, so we've already unlocked. If you're done, you can select OK, so that's what we'll do. Okay, so I got this notification, ADB device was not found. So what you want to do is go back into that developer options, unclick USB debugging, and click it again. You should get this allow USB debugging message. Select OK, and now it should work properly. So we'll go ahead and click OK to continue. Okay, this time it did connect to the device. It rebooted our device into bootloader, so you should see this screen. It 
So now I'm going to flash the custom recovery. It looks like it's going to root first and then flash the recovery. So the cool thing about Wugfresh Nexus Root Toolkit is it does everything for you. You simply press the root button. Of course it does have the built-in messages uh, to warn you of what can happen to your device when you do things like root and install custom recovery. But other than that it is basically a one-click method for unlocking the bootloader and rooting your device. Couldn't be any easier than this. So big shout out to Wugfresh for creating such an awesome toolkit. Okay, after it rooted the device, it went on ahead and flashed custom recovery. Okay, it's going to boot into Team Win Recovery Project. So there is Team Win Recovery Project. It's now flashing the root file, and it's going to reboot the device. Okay, it says the automated rooting procedure is complete. To finish the process and check to make sure you are successfully rooted, open Super SU. It may prompt you if you need to update the binaries. Make sure you have stable internet connection first. Open the BusyBox installer and grant the app super user permission when requested. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so it says to open Super SU. So we'll go to Super SU and we'll open it. Okay, we did not get a message to update the binaries, so we'll exit Super SU. Okay, it says to go into the BusyBox installer. And it's giving us the request to grant Super User permission. We'll go ahead and grant that. Okay, it says that we should go over to Install BusyBox and select the System XBin and then click Install. Okay guys, so that completes the Wugfresh Nexus Root Toolkit one-click root guide. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the new Nexus 7 and all the other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.